Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your love reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If you do need a person reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Right, who's coming up? Who's coming towards Taurus in love, please? Who's coming towards Taurus in love? What's happening? Wow! Wow, Ace of Cups, new love, old love. Damn, we have the tower here. There's been a shake up, a break up. Okay, you guys could have broken up, okay, with someone, and there's new love coming in, or after a period of after that tower moment, right, where there's been a big break or like a big um, end of a chapter, right? Now, this is someone who's coming in to want to renew this connection. I feel someone's coming in to rebuild the connection. They want to repair the damages that they caused in the past. Someone has had a huge realization. And after a uh, after a period of break, right? Four of Swords. This person's coming in to talk. I feel someone's ready to talk after a period of break. <clears throat> There's been this period of radio silence. No action. Silent treatment, etc. And now someone's given something a lot of thought. And they're coming in to talk to you. Coming out of isolation to talk to you. You could have been from a break from this person, like I said. Knight of Swords, <laughs> they're coming in strong, hot and heavy, confronting you, okay? They want to work with you. Three of Pentacles, this person wants to work with you. <clears throat> Not only do they want a new beginning in love with you, but they want to work with you. This is let's build, let's talk, let's work this out. This person's serious about working, building this relationship with you. <coughs> Maybe in the past, this was a relationship which was not built, which was built on faulty foundation or it was built on crooked foundation, okay? And that's why there was a tower moment here. You could have tried to ignore the signals of the universe and it just had to happen, so it did. This breakup, whatever you had in the past, I feel the breakup was in the past, okay? And I feel whatever this breakup was, it was a huge blessing in disguise. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Four of Wands, not only are they coming to talk to you, they're even coming in to get to, to, to have something serious with you. And dude, they're charging forward towards you with the chariot here. This person is moving forward full speed, billing and determined to over any obstacles that come between you and this person, ready to take action. <coughs> Maybe this person was a little hesitant in the past to move forward. This person lacked that balance, okay? Maybe their head was saying one thing, their heart was saying something, okay? But the spirit of break has really helped them clear their head. <clears throat> what else? What else for Taurus? Tell me what else for Taurus. Tell me what else for Taurus, please. Oh, three of swords there, there was a huge again someone could have felt super betrayed okay in this relationship here three of swords is a lot of stress anxiety <coughs> but after this period someone's coming in to heal recover this relationship like i said right they want to rebuild they want to heal this connection they want to come in and talk and they want this twin flame union. You're dealing with a twin flame, with that 11-11 card. They've woken up. They're, they've awakened to this relationship, okay? They have that epiphany, that realization that this this is it and you. And that's all they want. They want only you. And with the page of cups here, there's this apology coming in. After that breakup that you've had, something's still lingering around, okay? With the three of swords, I think you're super hurt with whatever happened in the past. And you're just not being able to get it off your chest. But they're still going to keep trying. Page of Pentacles, this person's coming in with that communication, okay? This is a very diligent lover. Someone who's trying to put in the effort, someone committed. Someone who's putting in their, <clears throat> someone very serious, but they're putting in their uh, first step towards commitment, towards that investment, okay? The Pentacles is not is not emotions. It's not uh, logic. It's not uh, passion. But this is something tangible, something sustainable, something that holds a lot of value, Yeah. I have the strength here. I feel this person's ready to step up their game. They're using all their drive, their passion, their courage uh, 
harm they're working harmoniously with it okay and they're ready to make those big bold courageous moves towards you <coughs> if you had a breakup with someone it looks like that breakup was a blessing in disguise but you're holding back you're holding back from this person you're a little closed off You're a little closed off. You choose to stay closed off to this person whilst they come in to offer you something, you know. You have trust issues. You don't believe this person. You don't trust this person. Maybe you were very vulnerable in the past. You had opened up emotionally. And this person was someone who never expressed their love and emotions to you, you know. So now you are very afraid to put yourself out there with this person. But you don't seem to be in any mood of opening up to this person. You're keeping your cards close to your chest, keeping your emotions very close to yourself. <coughs> I'm blocking your heart chakra. <clears throat> Two of Wands. You need to have a decision to make. They're coming in towards you, slow and steady. They are definitely wanting to offer you something stable, something committed. It's going to be up to you to make a choice here because the two of wands is like someone who needs to prepare, right? You need to plan whether you're in this or out of it. I feel you're almost, you know... Um, um, half in, half out. <clears throat> That's a very detached decision, you know. But that decision doesn't mean about um, choosing between two people. I'm getting more like, do I want to still, now that this person is back coming towards me, do I still want this with this person or not? Because they're coming in towards you with that offer, okay? Probably they're just too slow moving towards you and that's something which probably is uh, draining you out and, you know, they could have been <laughs> a big break between you guys you know like a long break a long period of no communication and that's something that got you in your head it's like now why are you coming to me now like it's going to be unexpected communication you know it's just going to start off like that but you're going to have to make a decision say king of pentacles they want to offer you something stable something committed okay? that's longevity again the chariot here they're moving forward towards you whether you believe it or not they're traveling towards you. You could be living at a distance from this person, okay? It could be a long-distance relationship. <clears throat> Damn, my throat is killing me. I go crazy having hot water every day. <clears throat> it's not COVID, so relax about that. But it's just that I've been talking so much. I've been having so many personal readings and the YouTube readings. It's just killing me. Don't know what to do. This person definitely wants longevity with you, okay? There's a lot of stability and security that they're ready to offer you. My point is, are you open to receiving it? Because when this person comes in, you're probably going to take it easy. I think there's going to be this silent moment between you guys. They want the four of wands. They're coming in with that communication. They want this beginning in love, okay? Page of pentacles, uh, king of pentacles. It's all them. You're the four of swords, three of swords, two of wands, four of pentacles. You know, you've got all that. <clears throat> I'm literally getting one person who's like, okay, I'm ready to pursue this. I'm ready to take this to the next level. Okay, let's do this. There's one person who's very guarded. Like literally, you're almost like at the end of the rope, ready to leave the building. And that's when this person comes and you're like, whoa, why now? <laughs> you have a wish coming true, babe. You do. This person is ready to. So I'm getting someone who is emotionally very, very unavailable. Okay. They have trust issues. They weren't opening up to you, you know, constantly, you know, they were floating between their head and their mind, you know, imbalance, going through that roller coaster and then their emotions, whatever. They have their head and heart in place now. Okay. They do. What they want is something committed. They want this long term with you. They want family, kids, etc. Okay, they want that harmony. They want to be with you and work this together and build a, a, a home, something stable, something secure. You, on the other hand, you still haven't healed from this connection is what I'm getting. Okay, but you still have a wish coming true for you. You will have to make a detached decision. Okay, you have to know if you still want this person or not. They're coming in with the right way. They're coming in the right way. They're coming in with the right emotions. They're coming to offer you something stable. Maybe this is what you always, always wanted. And you've been waiting for this for a very long time. 
Now that they're coming in, you're like in two minds. Doesn't that usually happen? Probably it's because this person took too long to come in towards you and to realize that they want this with you. <clears throat> and you're like, I don't know, I need proof. I mean, how do I trust you? You broke my heart, shredded it into pieces the last time I gave it to you. And now I'm not going to take a risk with you. Something like that, you know. What is the outcome, Taurus, this week? Ten of Wands in reverse. Give me a one more card. What is the outcome for Taurus this week? See, I think you guys are going to get back together. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands in reverse. I feel this is a situation that you're going to release, okay? This person is very, very drained. <coughs> Sorry, you can't see. This person feels very, very overwhelmed with the situation. It's a very draining energy for them. This person wants to come in. They want to release the burdens and they want to make this a very equal give and take, a very balanced situation, okay? They want to invest into you as much as you did in the past. They want to give you what you deserve. They want to give you what you're worth. And uh, they're ready to work on this, for sure. They're ready to work on this. This is the situation is getting too much on them. Maybe they tried moving on from you or maybe they tried to give this a break. Maybe they tried... Um, whatever walking away anything right but they realize that it is by walking away from you it was becoming more of a burden it was driving them nuts it was driving them crazy it was putting even more pressure on them you know and they're coming in to release that pressure they want to lay off the situation whatever situation is there between you guys this separation breakup they want to end this they want to raise the white flag and they want to come in to give that equal give and take they want to come in and balance the situation they want to restore any kind of imbalance and they want to make things fair. <clears throat> They're ready to invest into this situation for sure. You're the one who's still not sure, okay? Because I feel this is you with the two of wands here. You need to make a decision because you're very closed off to this person, very closed off. Only because with the three of swords, you're still here. If the three of swords wasn't here, I would have been like, okay, you've healed from it. But you still haven't healed. It's still hurting. It's still paining. Something's still, um, you know, something's still hurting so bad it's like a wish come true but for you it's like why did i have to go through all this in order for you to realize that i am the one for you and you had to come to me now you know why did i have to go through all this why does i have to take all this for me in order to make you realize that you need to take things to the next level or you need to give me something committed why do i have to go through so much that's what i'm getting they're coming in if you want to give them a chance they are. They're coming with the right energies. With the page here, to the king here. Look how they're progressing, right? Maybe this is all you ever wanted. I think you definitely wanted a commitment from this person, okay? At least something stable and something long-term. And they were refusing to give this to you. You took a break from this person. Probably you and were practicing a lot of self-love. And now they're coming in to bring in harmony in this situation. They are, Taurus. They are. It's going to be up to you whether you want them back or not. <clears throat> so we have the moon here right so there's a lot of um, illusions around this situation okay you probably feel this person has hidden agendas or it's just your fear stress anxiety which is surrounding this situation you need to trust your intuition taurus you need to trust your intuition and not your logic maybe you trust your intuition in the past and you really got hurt bad whatever but um the moon is a kind of card which you rely on the moon when um, it has nothing to do with the 3D world. It has nothing to do with the real things that are going on, okay? It's all your past experiences, the stress and fear from your past, <clears throat> which you're bringing in, in the current situation, and which makes you feel like everything's an illusion, okay? Everything's, what you're thinking, what you're doing is an imagination. That's why the moon here, the moon is imagination, illusions. It's your belief, your viewpoint, but uh, that's one of the reasons probably why you're holding back because you feel this person could probably repeat what has been done to you in the past by someone else or within this connection. That's why you don't trust it. I'm getting you don't trust it. But they're coming in to clear the air with you for sure. This is not the most expressive person. I don't see a lot of cups from their, from their side. But... Um, <clears throat> they're coming in to confront you. And they're going to come and talk to you about this. Like, let's start something slow and stable. But yeah, definitely, I'm in this for you. I'm in this relationship with you. Wish coming true. It's a wish coming true. You're going to be very, very happy. Very, very happy. It's going to put you in a point where you need to make a decision, you know. 
that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.